Many corners of our solar system harbor mysteries that humanity can still only speculate about. Among these dark worlds, there is one that for a long time remained in the shadow of its larger neighbors, but has recently drawn renewed attention. Recent discoveries have revealed that this world is not as simple as it once seemed. With each new study, it becomes increasingly clear. Beneath its surface may lie an astonishing secret, capable of changing our understanding of life beyond Earth. What exactly have scientists discovered? And why is this distant object now considered one of the most intriguing in our system? Subscribe to the channel and leave a like so you don't miss the most exciting updates. Pluto is much more than just a dwarf planet. Its history in astronomy is a true saga of recognition and re-evaluation of views. After its discovery in 1930, Pluto was considered the ninth planet of the solar system for decades, holding a special place in textbooks and in the hearts of those who dreamed of distant worlds. However, on August 24, 2006, everything changed. The International Astronomical Union revised the criteria for defining planets and concluded that Pluto did not meet the necessary characteristics. As a result, it lost its planet status and was officially reclassified as a dwarf planet. Despite this, interest in Pluto did not fade. On the contrary, it became the subject of even greater scrutiny by scientists and researchers. Its unique features, mysterious nature, and the possibility of hidden subsurface processes have made it one of the most discussed points on the map of the solar system. And the New Horizons mission only fueled this interest, providing a completely new perspective on a world we once knew so little about. What lies beneath Pluto's icy surface? A dead desert or a mysterious underground ocean? Nine years ago, NASA's spacecraft New Horizons became the first in history to explore Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, up close, as well as gather data on the Kuiper Belt, where Pluto and its five moons are located. Despite the wealth of unique information gathered, scientists continue to search for answers to important questions regarding the surface characteristics and internal structures of Pluto. To obtain new data, the Persephone mission is planned, which aims to further study the dwarf planet. One of the most intriguing questions remains the hypothesis of an underground ocean on Pluto. Although the dwarf planet is located at a distance of 4.4 to 7.3 billion kilometers from the Sun, some signs suggest the presence of liquid water beneath its icy surface. In particular, the icy plains of Sputnik may have formed due to activity from an underground ocean, but more data is needed for definitive conclusions. With existing technologies, a flight to Pluto would take about 28 years using a gravitational slingshot at Jupiter, after which the Persephone spacecraft will study Pluto and Charon from orbit for three years. Researchers are considering the possibility of reducing flight time using nuclear engines, but such systems currently exist only in the design stage and are unlikely to be ready by 2031, when NASA plans to launch the new mission. The Persephone spacecraft will be equipped with modern cameras, spectrometers, radars, magnetometers and altimeters to achieve its scientific goals. Preliminary estimates suggest the mission will cost around $3 billion, raising concerns about its feasibility due to NASA's limited funding. However, if successfully launched, the mission will provide answers to the questions left unanswered by New Horizons, even if it takes several decades. What else was discovered on Pluto thanks to the New Horizons mission? Analysis of data received from the probe allowed planetary scientists to identify a large, elongated and eroded caldera on Pluto's surface, which could be a supervolcano. According to scientists' hypothesis, it formed as a result of a series of cryomagma eruptions, mainly consisting of water mixed with ammonia in the last few million years. Early signs of cryovolcanic activity on Pluto were observed earlier, when the spacecraft detected several possible cryovolcanoes that erupted water and ammonia, rich cryolava, which then froze. This discovery supports the concept of Pluto as a geologically active body,
capable of retaining liquid beneath its surface due to the lowered freezing point of the water ammonia mixture. A team led by Dale Cruikshank from the University of Central Florida reported the discovery of a fifth potential cryovolcano on Pluto named Kiladze, located east of the Sputnik Plain on Earth's Hayabusa. Kiladze is a heavily eroded depression, 46 kilometers long and 36 kilometers wide, surrounded by arcuate and layered ridges of methane ice up to 5 kilometers thick, formed over the last few billion years after Pluto's formation. The caldera's floor is mostly smooth, with a central rise, and the height difference between the highest point near the center and the lowest part of the floor is about one kilometer. Spectral analysis of reflected light showed the presence of water and methane ice, as well as possibly photochemical haze particles that settled from the atmosphere. Could an ancient ocean beneath the surface of the dwarf planet still hold secrets of life's origins? What other mysteries is Pluto ready to reveal to scientists brave enough to peer beneath its cold shell? The probability of life existing on Pluto is becoming less and less fantastical. At first glance, this world seems completely cold and lifeless. But behind this icy facade, there may be much warmer and livelier secrets. Scientists suggest that Pluto has retained internal heat since its formation. This heat could have created an ocean beneath the icy crust of the planet, not just a frozen reservoir, but a liquid one, shielded from the harsh conditions of space. This hypothesis is supported by numerous observations. Many cracks of varying ages have been discovered on the surface of Pluto, some of which may have formed around 4.5 billion years ago. These cracks point to surface expansion processes caused by the freezing of the upper layers of the ocean and its gradual thickening. In the early stages of its history, Pluto actively accumulated ice, and the heat generated by radioactive elements temporarily prevented it from fully freezing. Over time, the upper part of the ocean began to turn into an icy crust about 200 kilometers thick, but the lower layers likely remained liquid and where there is liquid water, life could potentially exist. It's possible that simple organisms capable of surviving in such extreme conditions might exist in Pluto's subsurface oceans. Two out of the three prerequisites for life on Pluto have already been discovered, liquid water and organic compounds. The last and most challenging element remains, a stable energy source capable of supporting life processes in the harsh conditions of this distant world. While this is still a hypothesis, each new discovery brings us closer to understanding. Perhaps life can emerge where we least expect it. Pluto has already shattered many stereotypes and proven that even a dwarf planet can hold secrets in its depths that could change our perception of the universe. Many more discoveries lie ahead, and each of them could be a key piece in unraveling this icy mystery. Subscribe to the channel and stay updated. Together, we will uncover what other secrets this amazing world holds.